everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be sharing with you guys today my dorm room and apartment tour for this year and I have a feeling you guys are pretty excited about it too. So if you have been awaiting this video since my apartment haul um, and you're excited to see what everything looks like, be sure to give this a thumbs up because I would really appreciate that. Also, before I get into the tour, I just kind of wanted to talk about my living situation for this year. So this year I'm a sophomore in college and I'm in an on-campus apartment. So there are four girls that live in my apartment and we each have our own individual bedroom. And then we share a living room, a bathroom, and a kitchen. So I'm obviously going to show you guys all of that, but I just wanted to let you know the setup for this year because it's kind of changed a little bit since last year. But if you are interested in seeing my dorm tour from last year, I will put a link to that down below because it was in a suite style dorm. So if you're a freshman, that is probably the setup you have. I feel like that's kind of the most common dorm room setup so if you're interested in seeing that I will put a link down below also be sure that you've checked out my apartment haul that was the last video that I uploaded and I kind of go into detail where a bunch of things are from so if you're curious as to where something is from that I show in this video I probably talked about it in my apartment haul but if I didn't talk about it there either then you can just comment down below and ask if you're curious about anything and I will try my best to answer everything and with all of that being said let's go ahead and get started with the tour okay so this is what the outside of our door looks like we just have all of our names on this little paper here and then I hung up this little banner and it just says welcome and we can go on inside this is what you see when you open the door so there are four different individual rooms here and then we also have a living area and a kitchen here so over here we have a pineapple tapestry which is super cute one of my roommates brought that and then that is my roommate Mary Morgan's room that is my roommate Bella's room that right there is Isabel's room and then that door on the very end is my room which I will go into in just a minute. So when you walk right into the door you see this little area right here and one of my roommates brought this and we each kind of have our own little basket in here. My basket I think is it's empty it just has some string in it but that'll be nice for storage and then right here is where we hang all of our keys these are my keys and then those are Mary Morgan's keys and then we also hung up some art which is from Evelyn Henson which is one of my favorite artists her stuff is all so so cute and she sent me some of these and so we just hung them up here with some washi tape okay so here is a little overview of our kitchen I'm not gonna go into too much depth or anything but this is what it looks like we have a couple magnets on our fridge and then we also have another piece of Evelyn Henson artwork right back there above the sink okay so over here we have our living room like den area and it's pretty spacious actually um, it came with the couch two big chairs, um, a coffee table, a TV stand, and the table and chairs. And so we put a rug down. This was actually in my dorm room last year, so it might look familiar. And then we have two blankets on the chairs here. We also have a basket full of blankets over there. We, we really like to use a lot of blankets. Um, and then on the couch, we actually put a slip cover because it's a really ugly couch. So this slip cover is from Target and we just put some decorative pillows that are from, I think, all Steinmark. And two of the tapestries in here, this one as well as this one over here, are both from a website called society6.com. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you would probably maybe remember the video where I talked about this tapestry, but they were nice enough to reach out and send me another one to hang up. And I was so excited because obviously, my roommates and I really like tapestries and we're thinking about even putting one on this wall as well. But Society6 has a ton of different tapestries to choose from, like seriously hundreds and hundreds of them. So I would definitely recommend it and I will also put a link to their website down below. So I just love hanging up all the tapestries because they cover up the big blank walls that we have and it's just an easy way to decorate the whole space. And we have a tablecloth and some fun placemats which are from Target and World Market. And then again with the flowers that have been lasting forever, we have a lamp over here as well as another lamp in that corner just to add some extra light and then I recently put up these lights around the window which I think are just super cute so yeah this is our little living area and now if I walk back here down there again is my room and then right here is our bathroom which we all share hello there I am we have a really big mirror which is super nice so we have two sinks and each sink has a bunch of storage underneath the cabinet which is awesome and we all have our own drawer which is great and in here is the toilet so not very cute, but that's what it looks like. And then we just hung up a little curtain right there to cover up our shelves, but we have more storage in there, which is awesome. So we have plenty of storage. And then on this side over here, we just have the shower. It's a pretty tiny shower. It's really hard to shave your legs in that shower, not gonna lie, but it works. And then we have all of our shampoo and conditioner and shower stuff on that little rack there. 
So now we can head down this hallway into my room. I'm in room A this year, so that's pretty special, I guess. But I put this little carpet out in front just because I hate the bare floor. It's just the tile's not very cute. But this little rug was only like five or ten dollars, and it is from Walmart. And then on the front of my door, I just hung up this really cute banner. It says, Oh, happy day, and it is from Hobby Lobby. And now we can go inside my room. So when you walk in, this is what you see. Here is just a quick little overview of everything. I'm standing right in front of my door right now. Okay, so I'll start with the back of my door right here. I just have a towel rack on it um, that's hung over the door and I just keep my towel and then that's like a little towel wrap and then I keep two of my turby twists hanging there just so that my towels can dry because our bathroom only has a really small rack so I just keep my towels in here. And on the doorknob, I have this cute little elephant, um, like, beaded decoration, and that is from World Market. And then right next to the door, I have my closet, like my wardrobe dresser, and I actually have a full-length mirror on the back of it, so here I am. Hi, guys. And I actually got this last year, but it is from Walmart. And so I guess I'll go this way. So right here in this corner, I have my wardrobe. And this is like my closet that the school provides. And I have a bunch of stuff up on top. I have my printer and some paper. And in that bag, I just have extra bags and all sorts of things that don't really have another place. And then all of that stuff in that corner is things that I've kind of started collecting for my little, so just a bunch of shirts and paintings and stuff like that that I just keep up there. And when you open the wardrobe, this is what you see inside. If you watched my dorm tour last year, this probably looks pretty familiar. But so I just keep my skirts on these hangers right here, and then I have my shirts organized into sleeveless, and then short sleeve, and then long sleeve, and then I have dresses and jackets in the back. And then on this little door right here, I just have my long shot bag because I find myself using this a lot, so I just hung it right there. And on that shelf right down there, I just have pants. So I have blue jeans in one stack, black and white jeans in another, and then patterned pants in that stack. In this top drawer, I just kind of keep like essentials. So I have my pajamas there, I have some camis there, underwear, bras, and socks in those little baskets. And I like to keep those organized in little baskets just so that they don't get all jumbled up in there because it is kind of a big drawer. And then in this bottom drawer, I just kind of have random things. I have a bunch of sweatshirts because I love comfy sweatshirts. And then have some swimsuits back there, which I don't wear that often, but I brought them just in case I needed them. So I actually had the perfect amount of room in this little corner right here to kind of make like a cleaning station because we don't have a closet in our apartment where we can keep all of our cleaning supplies. So I just keep most of my stuff here. So I have a vacuum and also a Swiffer wet jet. And then I have two of these little plastic drawer organizers, which I had left over from last year. And I just have them filled with all sorts of stuff. So moving on from that little corner over there, we go over to my window, which is maybe my favorite part of my room. I really love my window. As you can see, I have a view of the parking deck, which isn't isn't the best view, but when you go over that way, downtown Nashville is like right past this brick wall right here. So I think that that part's pretty. I just try not to look at the parking deck over there. And I'm sorry the lighting is kind of weird, but as you can see right here, I just have some really sheer curtains. I have the blinds pulled up right now just because I like to let in the natural light. Um, and then around the window, I just hung some twinkly Christmas lights. This little storage ottoman right here I absolutely love and I didn't purchase it until I actually got to school and realized how much room I had in this dorm and I actually kind of needed something to go in front of the window so I thought that this little bench was perfect and it is from Target and then the two pillows on top are both from Steinmart. And inside the storage bench, because yes it does have storage inside which is amazing, inside I just have some extra wall decor that I didn't have a place to hang up or that I just haven't put up yet and I also have my little portable steamer down in there. In this little corner I kind of just have jewelry on top and some miscellaneous things. So this organizer is from Target and I just have a bunch of jewelry on top. And then in this first basket right here, I have just decorations for random holidays. So like I have some Halloween stuff on top right there and then also some Christmas stuff. And I just decided to keep it in there so I would be ready to decorate when the holidays come around. In this basket, I have just like electrical things. So I have some extra Christmas lights and some extension cords and then also an ethernet cable. And then in this basket down here, I just have a bag full of command strips because I bought a ton before I moved in and I have a bunch left over. So I'm just saving them in there because I know I'll probably need them at some point. Okay, moving on from the window area. Now we have my desk area, which 
this is like a little overview of it right here. So I do have a desk cubby on top of my desk and I will try and put a link down below to where you guys can get one of these. They're really awesome and they add so much storage. And so on top of my desk cubby I have these two baskets and in this basket right here, it's kind of hard to see, I don't know if you guys can see it, I just have some art supplies, so some paints and paint brushes and stuff. And then in this basket I just have random things, so I have my first aid kit, a lint roller, and like some extra um, printer ink and stuff like that. In this little shelf, I have a bunch of journals and notebooks and devotional guides and stuff like that. And then I have some sticky notes and this really cute picture frame that my big actually made for me and I just love it. And then back there, you can't really see, but it's like a Find Me sticker that I just put there. I also have some Find Me decorations in this little cubby right here. And so I have that frame, which my big also made of me. And that is a picture of me and some of my friends at our semi-formal last year. I have this little owl, which is actually an earring holder, but I don't have any earrings on it, but I still thought it was cute, so I just put it there. And this little gold container, which I think is from Anthropology, I just have perfumes and a couple nail polishes, and then I have this pretty cross, which was a gift, and then this cute little Find You Scrabble letters, which these are from my roommate last year. She made them for me, and I think they're so cute. So believe it or not, I actually use my desk more for makeup than I do for homework, like my laptop's sitting there right now, but... Normally I just sit here to do my makeup in the morning, so over here I have all of the makeup that I brought with me to school. I have this mirror here, which is a lifesaver. It's magnified and it um, lights up and it's amazing. I love using that. And then over here I kind of have more of the school supplies, so I have a bunch of colored pens and pencils in that cup there. And here I just have some thumbtacks and paper clips, and here I have tape. Um, stapler and also just some more random supplies down in that cup and then in here I just have some extra notebook paper some file folders and like note cards and stuff like that and then on my little bulletin board I've just kind of clipped up random little things that I think are cute on this side I have a lamp right here which is from at home I have this little calendar hanging up which is by rifle paper company and then I have a jar of cookies cuz I love cookies and some textbooks and then this is my planner and some more books I have to read for class. This top drawer is literally just a junk drawer. It's filled with such random things and so I'm not even gonna go through it. Um, this drawer also filled with random things that just don't really have a place. And then my bottom drawer is filled with textbooks. So those are just down in there. I also have a chair cover and a cushion in my chair because it just makes it look so much cuter and it also makes it a lot comfier because these chairs are super uncomfortable. Okay, so moving along, um, on this side of my desk cubby, I just have this little jewelry holder and I have all of my necklaces hanging up here. It's just so helpful to have them hanging and not have to like sort through a drawer or anything. So I just have those like that. Then right here, I have this little painting which is from Hobby Lobby and that is just kind of hanging above my trash can. So so for my bedside table, I got this little organizer from Target and I also had it left over from last year. Um, I have a bunch of different things in all these baskets and I'm probably not going to go through all of them just because they there's a ton of stuff in there. But um, behind this little shelf, I have a bulletin board and I just pinned up a bunch of cute quotes that I printed out. I have this lamp which is from Hobby Lobby. I have my Bible and like a cute little dish that I just keep there and then my phone is plugged in it's charging right now and then there's just my alarm clock I have to use this little stool to get up onto my bed because it's lofted to a point where it's just too hard to get up without using it so that stool is from world market so here is an overview of my bed area I guess I'll start with my headboard it is from dorm decor and I will put a link to their website down below um, my giant pillow is also from dorm decor and let me just tell you guys I love that pillow and the headboard together. And then behind my headboard, I've just hung up some lights that are from Target. My bed skirts are also from Dorm Decor and they match the headboard if you can see that. And then this quilt right here is from Steinmart and this is the bedspread I used last year. It's just white and I think I got it from, I think I got this from Overstock.com but it's just a plain white bedspread. All of these pillows here I showed in my dorm hall, so if you wanna see like a close-up of them, I will put a link to that down below, but they are all from Steinmart, except for this one right here, which I just got in the mail, and it is from Etsy, and I just think they're so fun. I just love all the colors in them. Okay, and now for my gallery wall. I will start with the pom-poms up on top. Those are from Etsy, and I just used command hooks to hang those up. And then I guess we can go over here. I have this cross, which is from a local store, a mirror, this, which I had left over from last year. This quote is from Etsy. 
Guys, my hand is starting to shake because my camera is so heavy. This is from Hobby Lobby. That's a little fine new cross. That I got from a local store. That is from Shop Ink It. This is probably my favorite thing on the whole wall, and it is from Etsy. And then lastly, this is also from a local store. Okay, and here's a little view of what is under my bed. I like having the bed skirt because it covers it up because it's not really that cute. But I just have a shoe rack with obviously all of my shoes. And then I also have this little plastic drawer set, which just has some towels and blankets and stuff in there. And then on this side, sorry, this is kind of an odd angle, but I just have my dresser that the school provides. And I just have t-shirts and shorts and more t-shirts and more shorts in those drawers. And for this last little corner here, I just have um, a blanket draped over the bed right here. This is the softest blanket ever, and I keep it right here because it's perfect use for when I wanna take a nap. I can just grab it and take a nap because that happens pretty much every day. So that's there, that's my little scooter stuffed animal. That looks like my dog from home, and I just think he's so cute, so he just sits there. In this corner, I have my tripod, and I just leave it there when I'm not using it. Right here, I have my laundry basket that is from from at home and I started off putting it under my bed but it was kind of annoying so I just moved it to this corner and then right here I just have some bulletin boards that I hung up and I printed out a bunch of pictures but what's really odd is that the edges of all of the pictures have curled up as you can see I think it's just because our rooms are really humid in this apartment which is so weird but all of the pictures look kind of funny now they looked normal at first though but yeah just a bunch of pictures all right, so that was it for my dorm room slash apartment tour for this year. I really hope you guys liked it and enjoyed getting to see how everything turned out. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe down below. And that way you'll just be notified whenever I upload new videos. And like I said, I am a sophomore in college. So if you guys have any sort of requests about college videos, anything like that, please comment those down below because I am definitely open to hearing your suggestions. And I think that's all I had to say for this video. So again, I hope you guys liked it. I love you all so much and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.